long story short, I missed my flight. I guess there's a first time for everything. Let's talk about it. Welcome aboard American Airlines. Please place small carry-on items underneath the seat in front of you. Before I tell you how I missed my flight, it ended up on a later flight, I want to thank you guys so much for all your thoughts, prayers, and my wishes. I am still sick, but I do feel a lot better. I do have a cough, a little congestion, well, moderate congestion, and uh, I've just been hydrating and trying my best to get better as quickly as I can, but thank you, thank you so much, guys, for all of your well wishes sick for a while. <laughs> it's as long as I've been sick, so first time for everything. Speaking of first time for everything, let's talk about how I missed my flight. So, long story short, I was supposed to leave Vegas at around 11.30 yesterday night, but the weather was so bad that my flight got delayed by over an hour. We finally got in the air and headed towards Miami. Once I got to Miami, I would have to get off of the plane and go directly to another gate and catch another plane. I was supposed to get to Miami around 7.30 today, this morning, but we didn't get to Miami until about 8.15. My flight from Miami to where I'm headed now was leaving at about 8.36, 8.40, but the problem was about 15 minutes or so to get to my flight but when the plane landed it didn't match up with the little port thing that enables us to get off the plane so they had to readjust the plane that took up time so we didn't end up getting off the plane until a little after 8 41 so I missed my flight but I was able thankfully to get another flight the same day which is the flight that I'm on right now so I'm really grateful for that but I've never missed a flight before like I said there's a first time for everything Jamaica and I've always wanted to come here uh, I'm in Montego Bay and I'm really happy to be here but unfortunately I'm still sick if y'all are thinking about the big C word I don't have it I just have a cold a really bad cold but why in Jamaica why 
So today is just a long travel day. I do have plans while I'm here uh, to kind of visit places outside of the hotel. Uh, I, I don't come to Jamaica just to party on the uh, in the hotel. I, I want to see the city. I want to see the the locals, the culture. So I do have plans if hopefully my body can hold up. Today was just me kind of scoping it out, seeing the beach, seeing kind of the hotel, the area, what it looks like. And uh, yeah, so for right now, I'm just going to rest for a bit. And then I'm going to go get something to eat. Woo! This head cold, this cold, this body cold, whatever it is, this cold, it came at the absolute wrong time. Ugh. Hey guys, so this is day two and I feel so much better. I don't know what it is, maybe it's the rum, but I feel so much better. I am currently on the Bob Marley tour and right now we have stopped for a restroom break, but uh, they said we can look around. Uh, so let's go exploring. This Bob Marley tour is pretty long. It's about an hour and 45 minutes, but uh, everybody is going in to look at, I guess, like the rum and stuff. I'm gonna come look at these coconuts and this fresh fruit. Uh, yeah, and by the way, Jamaican rum is so, so good. Look at the fresh coconuts. It's like orange. I've never seen orange coconut. Mango. Big. These mangoes are big. Like, look how big the mangoes are. Do you have any pineapple? Yes. I'm going to get some pineapple. You don't mind if I film this? We're gonna try this fresh pineapple. How much is it? It's four dollars. Um, how much is that in Jamaican money? I'm learning the currency. Would it be for what, wait? Let me figure this out. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm sorry. You, t teach me a thing or two. All right. The, the, the $100 this is Jamaican. Yes, ma'am. Like maybe like 50 cents of money. Okay. Yes. So your bill is um, $4 in US. Yes. So I'm going to calculate it by $150 in Jamaican. So $4 a month is by $150. It's going to be $600 Jamaican. 600 Jamaican. Okay, so this is what, like nine, 
Wait, was this like a little over six? Yes, a little bit over. We'll just give you the whole thing okay, there. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Very much. No, thank you. Yes, thank you. You guys have a wonderful day. Yes, full joy of the Ooh, pineapple. So while everybody else is in the gift shop, we're gonna try these pineapple. Fresh pineapple. Let's see if there's a difference between American pineapple and Jamaican pineapple. Right off the bat, American pineapple is so yellow, but this is not that yellow. And it smells extremely sweet. When you come to Jamaica, guys, support the locals. Support the locals. Buy local. Cough drop. Let's try some Jamaican uh, pineapple. First bite goes to you. My turn. Okay, I, I know that was too fast. Here you go. Okay, my turn. It's a subtle sweet, but it's really, really good. And usually American pineapple makes my mouth itch. But my mouth is not itching with this pineapple. Oh my, this is good. Okay, y'all know I'm buying this, right? Y'all know I'm buying this, Jamaican curry. Like, don't even play with me. Don't even play with me. Uh, I don't know how to cook oxtail, fam. But they got oxtail seasoning. I don't know how to cook oxtail. I know y'all probably like, get the oxtail. They got the dry jerk rub. They got the spicy wing seasoning. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get that. We'll get that. They got good hot sauces. Look at that pineapple jerk. What? You know I was gonna come to this section. Everybody else is looking at stuff. I'm looking at the food and the seasonings. Oh my goodness, what does that say about me, fam? So I'm just gonna get the seasonings. I'm not gonna get anything else. But if you do come to Jamaica, make sure you support the locals. Do some of these tours. Check out some of the shops. Um, they got a lot of good stuff here. Um, Hats, clothes, bags, the works. But, uh, <laughs> say hi to my audience, hey. Uh, but yeah, buying some seasonings. Me, I'm gonna get the food. I'm all about the food and seasonings. No, you're all good, ma'am, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm all about the food. Uh, everybody's looking at clothes, shoes, and I'm looking at food and seasonings.
You're still, still, still with me all the time where Bob Marley grew up uh, and where he's buried. Uh, here you can buy um, uh, a plant that you can smoke. Uh, I don't smoke it, but you can also buy it to pay your respects to the tomb of Bob Marley, which I did. Um, you just put it on the tomb. I don't smoke it, but for those who do, no judgment. But I just bought it to pay my respects. So I'm just kind of hanging out and chilling right now. Uh, it's a beautiful mountain town, or city, if you would call it that. But this is a smoking tour, so there will be people on this tour enjoying a certain plant. And uh, the vibes here are really nice. So far, so good, the tour's worth it. It's the Nine Mile Reggae Land Tour. The one thing I noticed uh, on this tour is that there are a lot of animals. I kind of like 15 stray dogs. They're cute. They eat, obviously. They look healthy. And there's a lot of cats. But uh, each, like, d coming up here on the mountains, like, each part of the mountains is a different, I would call it city. I know I'm not saying it right. Maybe parish. And uh, it's very unique. We're pretty high up in the mountains. Uh, farmland rural area and I like it. This is the kind of stuff I like to see. So it looks like it's more gift shops, more gifts that you can purchase, souvenirs. Let's go see what they have. This coffee. Fun fact, Jamaica is known for having some of the best coffee in the world. So while they're in the souvenir shop, uh, I'm just going to stay out here and take a little break. Um, I want to kind of discuss and talk about what I've seen so far. Uh, we are in like the mountains, very high up, and as I try to get as much footage as I could as far as the drive, because the drive is beautiful. It shows a lot of the culture, a lot of the, the people, the history of each, I call it town, but it's not a town. I want to say parish, each parish that we go through. And uh, I'm grateful for just being able to experience Jamaica outside of a resort. Um, I saw a lot of stray dogs, I saw a lot of stray cats, a lot of friendly people waving, just people doing and living their everyday life, Jamaicans, and uh, it's definitely just a really wonderful experience to experience different cultures and see how other cultures live outside of the American culture, or, and um, outside, right now we're in like the area where, the it's called Nine Mile, this is where Bob Marley grew up, this is where they buried him, and they're gonna show us all of that, where he lived growing up as a teenager, his house, his his tomb, all of that. So, so far, so good. I'm loving the tour, uh, but yeah. Hello, wait up around here, my friends, hello? 
Don't worry. You ain't go too far. Yeah. Put it straight in your mouth and stick it in and drink. Keep going. You got it. Do it. Keep going. Yay! She did. Oh, you did. Oh, you did. Ooh. High five. Come on. You're awesome. There you All go. Right. All right. Woo! Woo. High five. All the way around. That's good right. stuff, right? Yeah. Test. That's a chest. Melinda. Melinda. Right. Good, isn't it? Y'all are dangerous. I can't be chugging with y'all and doing all this. We're, what? We're, we're just warming up. Woo! Got a chest going. That's good though, I'm right out. Hello, future me here, and I'm currently editing this video that you're watching right now. Uh, but I, can't, I felt I need to come on and give you some context as to what is going to happen in this next clip, because I feel like this next clip is very important. So, in the next clip, you're going to see a picture of Bob Marley's childhood bedroom that I took. We toured Bob Marley's childhood house, and we were allowed to take photos, but we could not take video. So, that's what you're going to see in the next clip a photo of his bedroom that I took. Okay, now let me set the scene. In the next clip, you're gonna hear audio that I recorded because we were not allowed to take video or uh, pictures because we were sitting outside of Bob Marley's tomb. What you're gonna hear is our tour guide who is Jamaican, he goes by the name of Curtis, and he's, he, he's explaining to us how Bob, how Bob Marley died and he's, he's telling us what Jamaicans actually believed caused his death. So you're gonna hear two things in the next clip, how he died and what Jamaicans believe actually caused his death. Now, back to the video. We have a song that titled Rat Race. You don't know that one? No. When you go home, type it in. Rat Race. You see like how Usain Bolt run the race? Is on a, this time is rat running that race. Okay, yeah? Tell me this one now. He died. Who killed him? He said, Don't involve Rasta in your sese. Because Rasta don't work for no CIA. Mm -hmm. okay. So the story they feed to you, Bob was playing football, yeah? Yeah. And someone tapped on his toe, yeah? yeah? And he got an infection, yeah? And from an infection, cancer. Who else get cancer from infection? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he's the same man said you fool some people sometimes but you can't fool all the people all the time, all the time. Mm -hmm. you ever heard they said someone hang themselves when you go you don't see a chair <laughs> good so we're not saying that what they proved to the people that we're not saying that Bob didn't had cancer but where did he get the cancer? Buddy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hey, here you go, buddy. Here you go. I just finished eating dinner for the night. I went into the Montego uh, Bay restaurant, and it's just a buffet with all kinds of good food. I just stuck with the Jamaican food. I ate oxtails 
Oh my heavens. I had uh, jerk chicken. I had their barbecued fried chicken. I had their rice and beans. I had their uh, uh, curry goat. Like, I, look, call, call me an honorary Jamaican because I, I can't do American food after this. I literally cannot. Um, the tour was really, really nice. Unfortunately, I could. There was a lot I could not film. I could not film the Bob Marley um, uh, tomb, and they also showed us where his mother was buried. She's in a tomb as well, but she's next to his tomb. They're not in the same area, but inside the same building, but they're next to each other in different tombs. Um, we couldn't film anything, and we couldn't take any pictures. They told us if we was to take any pictures or film without them knowing that we would be dead by 12. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what? So naturally, I didn't do anything. Um, we were able to take photos of the inside of Bob Marley's childhood house where he grew up in, but no video. So I did take photos. I'll be showing those photos, all 99% of those photos on my Patreon. But uh, as you can see, y'all did see one of the photos that I showed you guys, and that was the inside of his bedroom. Everything as is. They said the only thing they changed were the sheets. Um, all in all, I really enjoyed not only the tour, just interacting with different people, interacting with the Jamaican culture, uh, the Jamaican people. They were so nice, very friendly, uh, welcoming, uh, just genuine, sweet, and I truly, truly, truly enjoyed my time. Um, it was amazing just to see how other cultures live and it was just an honor to be a part of that. That tour is like the best thing ever because it showed just... The, 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 the city and the different parishes and it showed the village and the farm and the country being in the mountains like all of that was amazing oh my gosh but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up and end the video right here I'm gonna go and get some sleep I had a nice dinner um, I met some wonderful people on the tour <laughs> <laughs> they were some great, great people. I had so much fun with them. And I, I met some amazing Jamaicans. Uh, just had so much fun. Um, again, if you ever come to Jamaica, I would just advise you, to, you know, you don't have to, but try to do something outside of the resort. Try to do something, a tour where you can see the culture, the city, the people, and how they live. Because Jamaica is more than just... It, Jamaica is not the resort. You're not going to see Jamaica just in the resort the only thing you can say is you've been to Jamaica like technically just because of the resort get out of the resort see what the country has to offer because it's amazing it's just amazing to see how every culture is different by the way Jamaica has a huge Indian population and they have a I want to say Chinese population, but for sure they have a huge Indian population here. And I did see some Indians, uh, they were selling some things. Uh, and I, I think, I want to say they're curry goat. Don't quote me if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment section. But I want to say their curry goat is, their, is, in, is Indian inspired. The spices, the taste, the flavor is Indian inspired. I could be wrong, um, but if I'm right, remembering right, I think that's what it was. But anyways, um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you again for all your well wishes. I'm on slow recovery. I'm taking it easy, drinking tons of water, getting plenty of rest. And day by day, I'm getting better. So again, thank you so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.